Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to a screen repair for a Samsung laptop I had come in from someone. Um, screen was badly cracked on it, as well boot up and you can see. So we're just going to plug it in and turn it on. There we go. And as you can see from it, damage originated from the right side over here and kind of bled out the crystal along the sides. Um, for when the laptop first came in, there was no sticker on the other side of it. Oh, went right through the BIOS, now it's trying to go into the operating system. Down here you can kind of make out what it's doing, but it's just too grainy to get any kind of headway with it. Um, I was able to check out the system, make sure there wasn't any issue with it by plugging into the HDMI port down on the side and instantly after it booted to the Windows operating system dumped out the video to a TV I had in the kitchen so everything's fine just the screen needs to be fixed and replaced on it um, one of the biggest issues with this laptop was came back from the customer with no sticker on the bottom they removed the sticker so trying to find out the serial number and more important, the model number for laptop to get the correct screen was a little bit more difficult than usual because you just look at the model number, you plug it in online, and you instantly know what you're going with. Uh, so to relieve that, I remoted into the well. To relieve that, I logged into the machine, um, and I decided to do a command which I'll put into the comment at the bottom of the video. Uh, WMIC um, BIOS get serial number. So this is very simple and really good to do for Dell machines because Dell likes to leave their uh, individual serial numbers built into the uh, system so each one's different and you can easily grab it from there and dump it into their website and look to see if your warranty's up to date really nice you don't even have to create a user account to do something like that when I called up Samsung to have them convert that serial number that I got from the BIOS command they couldn't resolve it into the model number that was on the sticker that was taken off. Um, so what I did instead was I decided, okay, we'll go through with uh, system info command, which should have the model number or at least close enough to it that I can order the uh, new screen. Uh, came up with four different types of models for this series generation year of laptop. Uh, and each one of those had different screen size. Some were 17 inch, some were 15 inch. After measuring this with a ruler, you find out that's 15.4 inches about. And that's the one we had to get. So, exhausting both of those options for an exact number, we decided instead, well, I decided instead, to take it apart and look underneath the screen. And back here, you can see right here on the back it has that LTN number which is the serial number or well the general model number for the screen and that's what we had to order the part from LTN uh, 156KT06-801 is the correct serial number or correct model number for this uh, type of screen um, with a matte finish I believe uh, but it only had one on the website and I'll probably stick that to the website I got the screen from was a good website from a Canadian company and it shipped fast. Uh, that's the other problem with this too is you can see there's stuff gunk on the side of the screen. This is from the thin stainless steel band that covers the outer perimeter. Usually unlike any other like Dell laptops, um, it would be plastic with friction hinges and you just pop it off and pop it back on. But this one was glued on with this like sticky glue. Uh, so I had to take a knife and slowly try and pry it off. I'm not gonna I didn't do it here, but there's tons of videos online about it. Yeah, I gotta be careful up here though, the camera for the uh, laptop screen is up here and the wire runs right down through the back of the screen and connects right up there for it. So once you get there with a the knife, gotta be careful you avoid that and pop it off. Uh, screen the outside perimeter is really delicate, so gotta make sure you slowly get that outer protective thin stainless steel cover else um, 
you'll break it, uh, as the other videos describe. Um, other issue was, once you get that screen off, or once you get the thin stainless steel cover off, you're going to have two screws, one up here, one up here on the top, and two on the bottom. Uh, they were behind this little guy here um, that was covering it, so what I did was, I started on this edge, and using a screwdriver, popped each of the friction hinges until I got to the other side. Note that it is held together by a wire down here, right? Right there, there he is. Uh, this wire goes to a, I'm guessing, is the device to measure when the screen is on or off. Let's, let's get a better view of this. Uh, right there. So see, there's the wire holding this guy together. And then right there, in there, is the device, I guess, for measuring when the laptop is flipped up and down. Okay. Um, so to get that after that, once you pop the friction hinges, you need to get a screwdriver. If I can find one, no, great. I have to go get one. So once you got the friction hinges on top, these guys popped out. This part is a curved part, so it curves around over all the wires and casing down here. So I took the screwdriver in this end and popped it out and screwdriver on the other end and popped it out and it pulled out this way from the laptop because it curves as you can see from inside all the way around the inside material here um, so that's about it uh, we can take the new monitor apart hope the guy has the same correct one and we'll try and install it in um, I think it's about a 30 or 40 pin connection on the back, but I'll have to recheck on that. Now, where did that screen go to? So here's the monitor from the company. Um, took about two days to sh took about two days to ship over the weekend. Get this thing open. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, it's already open. Okay, here it is. Oh, nice. It does look a bit wider than normal. No, it's okay. Yeah, okay, same size, good. Okay, see down there. I got LTN 156KT06. And this one is LTN 156KT06-801. Um, but it should be the same. Looks kind of like it. I don't see much difference. I don't know what the 801 is, but I'm hoping it's not that much of a difference. I think it just has to do with like batch numbers or something. Like same thing with prescription drugs. Yeah. But there's the uh there's the connection down there that we're putting it in. And there's a serial number right there, so what you have to look what you have to look for, that guy. Okay. Looks good. Screen looks clear, clean. There's your four connections for the screws. And then one up there, and one down here. Uh, you can see that the uh, thing, some of them have been bent, but we could probably just rebend them. See, that should really be flat. We could fix that just by bending it. It's pretty flexible metal. And there's the other one that got bent too. That's no biggie. Okay, so what we're gonna do is let's power this little guy down. Pew. 
Okay. Uh, plus, the other thing is about this guy is there's no uh, removal battery. The battery is somewhere up in this direction underneath the casing, and it's it's, it's such a pain to get out. Uh, I'm not going to even try. So we're just going to unplug it. Uh, okay. Look at that. This is the um, top friction hinge part, which will go up here. You can see there's the hole for the camera. Put this guy somewhere safe. didn't come with any extra uh, tape so I'm gonna have to um, probably retape it down with something else just got a better view on this okay There we go. So it lifts up the uh, hinge as well. So there's a metal hinge right there. And that releases the connection from inside. So this guy should be able to slide right out. Boop, pop, there we go. Nice. Okay. Okay, so got that. There's the screen. There's the connection which zooms into focus. There we go. And you can see that it's uh see the pin connectors. So it's gonna slide in and then the hinge is gonna come down and lock in behind it. Um, I'm going to leave the protective coating on this little guy right he here that's flapping down until I have it in place and I'll take that coating off. That's going to be a last step. Um, plus before we even put everything back together we're going to test it out by booting it up just so I don't waste all that time. There we go, popped in, you can hear the audible snap. This guy comes down over it. I'll probably secure that with different tape uh, once I confirm that this thing actually is working. I'm gonna pop this back out. Like so. Okay, get the power adapter back into it, and we start praying. Oh, look at that. There we go. And there's the login screen. So we're going to see if we can run our temporary admin one. Make sure it boots up okay, make sure the screen's okay, no dead pixels, no funky graphic errors. Uh, I think it's running a GTX NVIDIA or something or something or other. I forgot.
Okay, let's see here. Or not, I thought it was running a graphics card. Should be. It might be AMD. Usually, NVIDIA cards have an extra um, option when you right click on a desktop for um, resolution settings. Oh, well, we're not. Oh, well, that's the uh, built-in NVIDIA control panel. Anyway, uh, I think everything else is good. We're going to put it back together, uh, run some cleaners, put different antivirus on it, uh, you know, standard software maintenance, make sure nothing's funky on the back end you know, settings or programs or whatnot. And that's about it. Okay, so now that we know this works, we're gonna shut it down again. And these new touch panels are not helpful with gloves on. Uh, oh, and the funny kicker was um, Best Buy said, okay, we'll do it for $300, which I thought was ridiculous, but that's just me. Um, screen was about $70, I think $80 with taxes and final shipping coming out of um, or coming into Toronto, Canada, and then making it here to New York. Um, and yeah, which I think was a better price than. Three hundred dollars. Okay, let's put this back together. Okay. So first, we're going to bend these little guys back slowly. Uh, we can't see right now, but I'm bending this one on the other end so that it stays flush. Hoping it doesn't break. And you just got to kind of eyeball it to make sure it's uh, level. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, good, good stuff. Okay. Uh, I think there was one down here that was bent. As, yep, there one, that one right there. Hmm, I think that's okay. I don't know if I'm going to add any more tape to it. Looks like it's stable. I'd hate to add tape to it and then just have the whole thing kind of fall to pieces on me. Some kind of, you know, bad luck static discharge or whatnot. You never know. Okay, bend that one too. Come on, bend. Okay, good. Okay, that one too, good. Okay, everything looks good. That guy's good there. Uh, screws were four little screws, which I decided to zip lock up. Make sure they didn't run away on me. Yeah, I don't think that's going anywhere. Other thing to note, which I forgot, was um, there are friction hinges running all along the side up here and all along the side over here. Um, when I first took it apart, I was worried I missed a screw because the thing wasn't popping out as easily as I wanted it to with the four screws taken out. Um, after careful looking around, poking and prodding, I finally realized, okay, it's stuck in on the sides here. So I, I got the screwdriver in here and slowly pushed it out so it bent outward and then the insides pushed inward so it kind of popped out a lot easier. Um, but you'll see there's little uh, indentation friction hinges all along the side here. And if I get the old screen, here are the um, indents in the old screen. See, there's one. 
Uh, there's another right there. And then those fit into ones that are specifically notched into the inside casing that holds the screen in place. Okay, so where the hell my screwdriver go? There it is. Yes, nope. And I need to go get Phillips. Great. Okay, I forgot that these were very tiny screws. I need a very tiny screwdriver Phillips type to screw them in. So, let's see if we can. Let's first get these little paper tape parts pulled out to the side. So see I'm still keeping them on but they're on the outside now so once I screw it in I won't regret doing this beforehand. There we go. Oh, keep that stuck on. Okay, good. Okay, make sure this... We're going to do the top ones first. Just so I can deal with the bottom which is a lot messier. Um, what we can do actually, first of all, is try to get it into those indents on the side and it'll hold it in place for us like that. You can hear it popping in, pop, pop, pop. Make sure that's free on the bottom. These are free on the side. Good. How's a screen look? Okay, looks good. Okay, there's the hole on top. So you want to get these screws in uh, snug, but not too snug. Usually I like doing this by hand, because then you really can't mess up when you have a much bigger torque to work with. So with this you really can't screw them in too, too hard and damage anything. That's pretty good. Okay, second screw, other side. The biggest problem with this is going to be trying to get that stainless steel backing back onto it once I'm done with this. Because uh, I'm going to figure out how to glue it back on. Okay, let's see. There. A much better PC technician than a cameraman operator. So that's that screw right there. Um, this is a little piece of plastic as kind of like a guiding guideline uh, for where the screw is going to be. So as long as you get that piece of plastic through that hole, the screw is going to line up perfectly. Which is a good idea by Samsung. You get bonus points there, Samsung. Okay, for one's down here, there's one right there, and then there's one over there. Uh, let's see here. Okay, everything else is clear. That one's going to go in later. There, snap. Yeah, it'll be a snug fit, but I think it'll be okay. I think the reason this screen partly cracked in the first place was it doesn't have that much room to move around in, so unlike other Dell laptops I've seen and worked on um, there's a lot more space that the screen occupies itself in so it has a little bit more leeway in case it gets stepped on or driven over or tossed out of an airplane so you get a little bit better odds of not having these things crack and doing this kind of stuff but oh well oh I just saw, I didn't even see it from before, I can grab the uh, camera here. Down here is a serial number as well, and you can see it's 156K T06 and then dash 801, which was the same as our previous 
uh, broken screen. So it didn't have it on the back sticker, but it did have it on this. And if I take a look on our broken one, um, nope, it doesn't have, oh, yeah, I think it does have it on there. Um, which you can't make out because it's gunk all over, but I think, I'm pretty sure I can make it out. I think. Yeah. It's a lot fainter than this one. But yeah, so, good thing, this one actually does have the exact serial number. Um, not sure how much it matters now, now that we know it works anyway, but, whatever. Okay. So we got that one in, and the final screw. Yeah, looks like it's in. Yeah, we're good. It's flush. We're good. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, finally putting this guy in. Uh, see, these are all friction hinges up around here. Um, the camera resets. There we go. So, these guys here, this guy, this guy, all these guys here are friction hinges that are going to have to pop in, but first we got to slide it in, and you can see it's curved, so it's going to go in straight. Make sure all the wires are uh, in place. We're going to move this up a bit so we got some space to work with. Just don't want to keep that on, so scratch the top part. So there's a big wire over here. Um, this guy right here, which is the main wire for the screen, runs along, goes up underneath, and we were just connecting in a few moments ago. Just gotta watch out we don't pinch that or something of that nature. So push this all the way back. This guy gets pushed right into there. Okay, make sure it's. Yep, okay, it's flush on this side. Then we just gotta pop, 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 come on. Pop, 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 pop. Make sure they all pop in. There, nice. Nice, 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 nice. You can see on this side, see the panel, that's the uh, other side of it. It's perfectly in line with the screen. This side doesn't have any friction hinges, but the other side does. Just that part up there. Okay, it looks good. So when I originally came across it, these little parts right here is where you put the screwdriver in. I believe over here, very tiny, tiny print, it says start on this side. So you start over here and you start taking your screwdriver to it and slowly pop out them friction hinges. That looks good. It's flush. Flush with the bottom metal part of the new screen. Okay. Second part is the top one. Same thing. Friction hinges on top. Uh, round part is the top. Edgy part is the bottom. Oh. Yeah, that's a good angle. Yeah, it says gunk on it too. I might just leave that on and, yep, see, this too, it says, oh, opening direction. So I have to follow that. If I can do this properly, yep, opening direction. So, when you're taking off, you start on this end. 
which is the left side. Okay, so final step. After getting the screen on, we got the bottom bezel and the friction hinges all in place. We got the top one all in place. There's the camera. Everything looks good. It's all flush. Oops, wait, no it's not. I forgot this one. I was testing you. And you passed. Okay, there we go. Snap. Okay. <laughs> now, everything's in place. This is on. Friction hinges are in. Everything's good. Camera. There we go. This top part up here is um, like a rubber finish. So is the bottom part right down here, just below where the friction hinges are. Okay, that looks good. Is this thing out of focus? That looks better. Right, so I have the old um, edge that goes around it. I wish that they would send me a new one, but oh well. So I made sure to save this. It's pristine condition. I saved in the box it came in. Well, laptop came in. So this is the uh, stainless steel bezel that goes around the edge of it. I'm going to try to put this guy back on. You can see how very flexible and flimsy it is. I really wish they would have came up with something better than this for a edge. I'm just going to try and stick it back on. It should stick to it. It's extremely sticky stuff. But to get it off initially, um, I had to take a knife and slowly inch it in there and then kind of work my way up adding in some um, separators in between so it didn't re-stick. Yeah, that looks good. Look at that. It's sticking to it. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, get back under you. Um, I might just add some re-sticky material. Maybe s I'd hate to add some like Gorilla Glue or something or some super glue maybe. Just something to get it to stay on. Um, but, you know, any port in a storm, especially for something as messy as this, trying to get it to stay on, but it looks like we're in business. I'll keep an eye on it for one day before it goes back, well, overnight before it goes back, <clears throat> and make sure that it hasn't popped up at all. If it has, we'll just try and, you know, glue where appropriate. But I'm not happy initially that it um, was manufactured this way. Yeah, that looks good over there, I think. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Um, yeah, everything looks good. So let's do one final boot up. Uh, I want that guy to be over more. Come on, move. Yeah, it looks like it's sticking no good. Okay. Yeah, alright, so let's plug it back in, boot it up again, now stop grabbing a cable cat. There's the lights, okay, came on, screen looks good. Blacks aren't that good on this kind of screen, but, you know. That's the way it was made. I 
Alright, so got the login screen. Boots up, looks good. Let's see if we can find the camera software, make sure the camera works okay. That's the last thing we have to do really. Yeah, I'm not happy about that. Silly stuck on cover. Um, <laughs> camera setting. Let's see if we can find a camera app. Good, okay. Camera looks good. No, nothing obstructing it. Yeah. Okay, good stuff. Yeah. Alright, it's ready to go back. So that about does it. Um you know, just gotta do a final cleanup on it and ship it out. Uh, last thoughts on it are, <sighs> I wish there was a easier way to figure out what the model is once the sticker gets taken off. Um, if I go into, well, I won't do it now. Yeah, I'll, I'll put down the stuff in the description. You can look at that um, for what happened when I tried different commands. Uh, but I wish they had a better way of figuring out what the exact model is of it. Um, somewhere inside the system, which I had a little more difficulty than usual finding, which shouldn't be the case, uh, considering, you know, for the average user out there. Uh, um, other things are, screen was easy to replace, same kind of connection for most screens out there, stuff, I think a 40 pin or 38 pin connection. Um, and then, really, I just wish they had something better for this bezel and just something that got stuck on with glue. I mean, come on, guys, really? You couldn't, like, have friction hinges for this or something better? I mean, really? It was like a pain to, like, pry off and... I just worry it's not going to stay on. It should. should be okay. should be fine. Uh, that's about it. Um, yeah. Not that bad. I'll add the uh, place I got the screen from as well down in the description so you can know where to get it, um, which seems to be a reliable store, really one of the only ones I found online that had a good stock of uh, laptop screens they could choose from, and the website was quite helpful with describing which ones they were, what type, which ones to get, where to find them, how to replace it. Um, that's about it. Yeah, thanks. Bye! Cat, what? I see what? What are you doing? What? I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to do a video here. Video? No, video. Yeah, video. What? What are you doing? What do you want? I gave you food already. What? Oh God! Don't stick your head there. That's a fan. Oh, I see you. What? Right, now we're bored. Yeah, okay.